We're back. And we're back. So anyway. What's going on? That was a good break. That was great. A lot of stuff this week. There's a lot of things happening this week. I am not distracted, but I am kicking people. Unarmed civilians lying on the street. (laughs) So... You Friday night, away. welcome to the Hard to Name podcast, <laughs> number 19, or 18, depending on how you've been counting these up. Welcome, Travis. Welcome, Tan. It could be a chapter, also. I don't know, however they want to view it. Chapter 18. Could be a chapter. It's not a chapter. Oh, maybe in England they look at it as chapters. Like I in think in England they call it series. Yeah, they do. Is it a cheeky series? It is a cheeky series. Shout out to England. You yeah, we all lost did hands. not have an election this week. So. This is not Brexit. This is not Brexit. This is our Brexit episode for all our English fans. We're recording at 6 o'clock in the morning talking about Brexit with breakfast. I have some eggs and toast. I have Tannen. How's it going, my man? Welcome back once again. Is it fair to say Tannen is on board for the long haul? I mean, God, this is what, four or three weeks in a row? No, Three. I like to think of it as like special guest Tannen. Yeah, like I'm, I'm like that special guest that just keeps like, showing up. Never ever is in the credits, the opening credits. Yet once the show starts playing, it's like, oh, special guest star Tannen. It's like when all three like of us that. had younger days, our partying days, whatnot. That guy on the couch that was always just there. That may or may not have been me at some points. I was about to say, I think that was you a couple of times. <laughs> There was, there was always somebody. There was always somebody napping. Well, the banshee is back. I see in the background. Welcome back. Uh, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. There hello, isn't hello, a banshee. lot of stuff going on though this week. Uh, you're right, Adam, about that. Uh, Jesus, people have lost their minds. Nintendo are complete fucking dicks in a way. Uh, the NES Mini has dropped in limited supply, guys. Uh, people are selling this thing. I've seen it priced at six hundred dollars. Like the most excellent. Scumbag fucks. Scumbag fucks. No, it's just like Bunch wow. Of scumbag fucking scabbing or uh, scalpers. Nazis. Jeez. Fucking scalping water in Hurricane Katrina. Don't you think <laughs> scumbag fucks a little extreme to say about the scalper? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't they... know. I think you're being a little. Nick Harsh about it. Shout out to Nick Harsh. <laughs> you like what I did there? I and he did didn't there. get a Tannen as a Cunter shirt since last week, and uh, I'm a little actually, bit disappointed. As a matter of fact, listeners. JD is working on the Tannen as a Cunter shirt right now, oh, as we that. speak. Is it going to be like the Obama uh, hope thing? I don't That'd think be. so. I think it's just going to say Tannen is a Cunter. And um, that's on not the exciting. back, it's got a picture of a lady on a ticket. <laughs> so he's got it oh, all man. together. Hey, shout out to you, Adam, for that picture you sent me of the good old days. I love the drummer shirt. Yeah, there's, it oh. says something about Tannen, too, but I can't make it out. I don't remember what it says. <laughs> can't believe you still have that. It's crazy. Very softly, it says Gary Eats Cheese on the back. So That's our Gary Sucks segment, by the way, this week, because Gary Eats Cheese, usually string cheese. Well, didn't he uh, try to be a vegan for a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, he was vegan for a couple of years, though, so there was no cheese. But he, he turns like... back on vegans. That's why. Because he eats cheese now. That's why this is so... Never trust a vegan. I think that's, yeah. a, that's a takeaway. It's Never trust problem. a vegan that eats cheese. Yes. Yeah, definitely that's just... definitely <laughs> don't trust the ones that eat cheese. you got to watch out for those espionage. guys. It's hippie espionage. They're probably pulling a fast one on you. It's, it's okay to eat cheese, though, you know? So these scumbags as as fucks are scalping these NES minis for thousands of dollars. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, bottom line is, they're paying for emulated games that are like 30 years old almost. Like, it's a little ass. Just go out and buy the actual system and the carts is like the the, the bottom line. Like, yeah, or get yourself a uh, Retron. Go get yourself a yeah, Retron yeah, if you can't. Don't the, missing the. Don't get a Retron. They're, it's the novelty of them and the I mean it, if this had released in uh, like April you wouldn't see this scalping stuff it's because this is gonna end up being a hot Christmas Christmas item yeah 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 so 
Well, no, and you remember, remember, I remember a couple of years back, you could walk into a Dollar General and get one of those little, I have one, one of those little Genesis systems that had preloaded games 80, on it. 80, it I was, was like, about to bring that up, Tannen. It was like $15. Yeah. It was awesome. You know, like... That flashback I got at the Goodwill for like five bucks, two or two or I can't remember, it's two or five bucks, something like that. But still, it was like sixty games, priced at like fifty bucks on Toys R Us. But fuck Toys R Us, in my opinion, because they're way overpriced usually. So speaking of Toys R Us and GameStop and Walmart, you like that? there's Black Friday is right around the corner. I actually have off Black Friday this year, which is weird because I don't typically get that day off. Um, but yeah, so there's all kinds of sweet deals out. Skyrim is going to be 25 bucks at Walmart. Yeah. And at and at uh, Toys R Us. I was so, waiting for it to drop in general. I mean, it's uh, I put so much into that game, and it's an old, such an old release. Like even 25, in my opinion. I, like it goes to GameStop on last gen consoles for like five bucks, dude. Yeah, no. but that's without that's the DLC or mod support or the up graphics. Oh. I'd say it's worth... If, if any, you're going to make that argument for anything, and it probably shouldn't be a Bethesda game, because you know... If you're equating time spent with a game to how much money you'd be paying for it, every Bethesda game is going to be worth $60 or more. That, that is very true, and Skyrim definitely falls in that category, that kind of game. So you got me there. But still, I mean, just play the PC version. That's what I would say. You still got to pay for the PC version. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yeah. You're right. But anyways, it's not just Skyrim. That's the only thing that I'm particularly excited about. There's other Probably, stuff on there. Just at the end of the day, though, like if you're going to invest, just go PC. I mean, if you have the option, it's available to you. Why not? I mean, you want the ultimate experience of it. I would. You know, if I if I played Skyrim on PC over, even if I owned it, I would go PC. I don't know about you guys. You ever played on PC, or you guys just played on console? No, no I've watched Nick play it on. I PC. just played on console. The thing is, is I don't play games on a PC though. Like if I was a PC gamer, uh, that is a solid argument, but. I'm not a PC gamer. I'm a console gamer. So playing anything on PC yeah. just seems absurd. Right. Oddly enough, the only thing that I play on, on PC are old DOS games because they're free. Right. It really but takes still, me back. I guess that's still considered dabbling in both. I mean, do you think there's a, like people that dabble in both, like do both? Like, mm -hmm. but, but but a hardcore like console... like. There's no way you could be hardcore as a PC, like, on a shooter, because it would feel like moving a tank around on a console. Just the whole the speed, you know, the frame rate issues, all that shit. You know, it's, it's so, like, the gray area on PC and console gamer, I think, is really divided. I think it's more black and white. People are like, well, I'm PC or I'm just console. Because the nostalgia factor for all of us, I would say we're definitely all console gamers. I don't even know where we're at right now. I'm, I'm lost. I'm trying to keep up with you. Uh, well, we were still talking about this NES Mini. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were on the Black Friday deals. The oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Rocket ship, and we just blasted off in a fucking oblivion. So, anyway, yeah, Black Friday deals. Yeah, that's awesome that you have off work. I have to work in a retail setting. That's that's the day yeah, that everybody day works. Good luck to you. Adam, have you ever worked retail on a Black Friday? Uh, no. I've never worked retail. Any, it's anywhere. It's not as bad as you think. I it's can't. really not as bad as you think. I think it depends, any, I guess, where you're at in the store. Yeah, anybody that has to work in a super busy market that's especially busy one day out of the year, that's not fun. I mean, you know, I'm in a pawn shop, so I guess it's a little different, but I, it's super, it's always busy in there, always, but, um, you know, it's just, yeah, so you do get your people that are just pissed off and pushy, but, you know, that's about it, you know, and the pushy people, they just kind of learn that they can't be pushy, because in our setting, if you're rude, it's like, well, I'm going to help this nice person first, 
<laughs> Do you have the hawking security guards like on that bullshit reality show, Hardcore Pawn? No. <laughs> no, we think. don't. Yeah. Why not? Do you listen? No, no, like the, the most that we have with security is, is like, and it's only happened a couple times in the three years I've been there, but we have, have had to call the cops on irate people a couple times. And they, they're there in like less than five minutes and remove them from the store. That, that's our security guards. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's a good thing. Shout out to the cops that help you out at the shop. Yeah. There's been a couple of times, like, I've told I've told people to go outside and breathe. Like, you need to go outside and take a deep breath for a while and come back <laughs> you in. You go out and counsel them, too? Like, are you, like... No, no, no. I'm just like, dude, like, right, the way you're buddy, acting, you to go lay outside, down here. calm Tell it down. Tell me about your childhood. Let's hear it. <laughs> Get it all out. What, what, how are you, do you a good how are student? How do you describe your relationship with your mother? <laughs> the guy just starts <laughs> crying. <laughs> when did you find out you were a scumfuck reset? <laughs> 600 goddamn dollars. What have you done? And now you want to rip these people off. No, but... I did not see any of the Black Friday things. Tana did neither, but Adam, you're all over it, apparently. Uh, what is the best... Thing Black Friday related this year you've seen so far besides the Skyrim deal. I don't know. There's a there's a ton of stuff. There's a a bunch of the good games that came out last year are gonna be twenty bucks. Pretty much everybody's pretty much within five dollars of each other one way or the other from Target and uh, Toys R Us and GameStop and Walmart. All the prices seem to be within the five dollar range for the set of games. Um, but. There's like even like new stuff like Battlefield One I saw was uh, forty bucks at most really? places. Yeah, there's nice. a, like a ton of new stuff that's discounted as well. Um, Witcher Three was like thirty bucks for the, like the complete edition or whatever, which is that's a fucking awesome deal as well. That's another game where you're gonna get your money worth out of that game if that's the kind of game that you're into. Most definitely, sandbox style. I would say my personal recommendation right now, uh, 2016 holiday, would be to pick up uh, any Wii U stuff you see. Get it right now. Um, if they just, they're about to, or if they didn't already, uh, there's been so many rumors of the ending of production. Was it the fourth? <laughs> no, this, uh, this, that's a, also <laughs> that's a really funny topic. story. Because as someone, I think it was Kotaku, was like, all right, so Nintendo's not producing Wii's anymore after this week. And Nintendo's like, whoa, false, totally false. Not, that's, no, guys, and nobody, hey guys, that's not, that's not what we're doing. The, we are not stopping production. And then a week goes by, and they're like, okay, so we're stopping production on the Wii U. So it was like they just, I guess, wanted to break that story <laughs> themselves. And they really didn't want yeah. Kotaku to take it. But it was kind of like day one. <laughs> some fucking play. boy went under our went under our wing and reported that to Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, well, Kentucky's got like I don't know. They've got no filter. I'm surprised anybody deals with those guys. It's great for journalism, but if I was a video game company, I wouldn't like everything would be just completely sealed. I wouldn't fucking talk to Kotaku about shit. Yeah, but as far as the Wii U goes with the whole stopping production thing, I'm just curious about this. I didn't know what Adam if you saw. Do, do they have good deals on the Wii U systems for I, Black Friday? I haven't just seen. Oh, do. I saw uh, like Mario Maker. I think is going on sale for twenty bucks at some place. But my guess is, if you've got a Wii U, you've probably got Mario Maker by now. Yep. Oh yeah. So like, I don't. I can't imagine anybody not playing. You know, being like, man, I love my Wii U. Gonna sit out on this Mario Maker thing though <laughs> until it goes on sale. I feel like we all need to make more levels and play each other's levels. I feel yeah, like that's something that, we have that means like playing the Wii U, though. and which is cool, but I don't know. So I love the Wii U. Don't hate. Don't hate. Exonerate. That's what I say. There you go. Because it rhymes, and everybody knows if it's rhyming, it's true. And then there's reason. For this reason. And we're back. And we're Adam. back. I don't even know and how much skinny. of that we should keep, how much we should ditch. I'll, I, dude, I'll edit through it. I'll sift out. I'll so. So, what are you playing this week, guys? 
games. Hum- human, Man, my, human my week was so freaking busy. I barely even touched any of my games. I started playing Wolf Among Us again. That's a yeah, good game. Sorry, I that. fucking love that game. Have you read the comics? Do you read Fables? I read, I read some of them. And I, I do like it. I should be get more into it. I really only ever get the the one book that I have I got from Second and Charles, and I had to go back like at once every week to check and see if they had any of the fables. And then finally they did, and I was like, oh sweet. And then I haven't gone back to find any because it was such a bitch to wait for one to come through there. But um, that's such a good series. Yeah, <clears throat> it looks really good. No, the, the the game, the Travis, have you played it? No, I haven't. I said it looks really good. Oh. I want to... Yeah, it's, it's definitely worth checking out. You know, it, it's kind of a nice break too to go through, just to have one of those, you know, click around, button prompt games. But the storyline's like that good that you know the, the gameplay was really good with it. And your choices that you make are pretty detrimental when all said and done at the end of the game. But yeah. it's taken forever to. For them to make a second season, I feel like. I don't think there there probably won't be one. That leads up almost to where the comic starts. Mm. So unless they did some other, like, just contained story. But that, like, the whole like Ichabod Crane leaving and stuff, that all leads into the uh, where the series of comics actually pick up from. I don't think we'll see another Wolf oh. Among Us games. <clears throat> they're working on the, so the Telltale's got the third episode of Batman out now and have, have you, Walking Dead season 3 is supposed to start I think next week I don't have you played I, Batman no no I, I don't play any of these episodically I absolutely hate that and Telltale yeah. has a really shitty release schedule like um mm-hmm. Resident Evil Revelations 2 came out on in episodes, and they actually released an episode a month. And that wasn't too bad, because you're like, okay, well, I know when the next episode's coming. This isn't too bad at all. But then, it, dealing with Telltale, like they're like, yeah, here's one this month, and maybe you'll get another one in a month or two, or maybe it'll be three months, and then we'll just shuffle in like three more after that. And then you'll have to wait another while. So, I don't... I'm, I don't trust them to do that well. Yeah, I'm just going to wait until they're all out also. I've never played a Telltale Batman game. They look good to me from what I've seen. Mm-hmm. I actually got to play a little bit, told you guys off air earlier, a little bit of the new Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, the, just the zombie mode. It was really fun. I liked it. I don't know if I'm going to get the game. Maybe you know, if it drops to where I think it's reasonable for me to be like, eh, because I don't, I don't know how much time I'd actually spend into it because... As far as online shooter, I got that already pretty much in Overwatch, so I don't know. But it was fun for what I played. I mean, it's getting good reviews. I don't know if you guys ever plan on picking it up. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Probably not. I would actually be more inclined to pick up a just Call of Duty Zombies game at this point. I don't really need the rest of it. But Zombies is always fun, so. I think is... I might rent that. I might even go rent that tomorrow just to check it out, but that's probably as far as I'll get to a price drop. Are you guys burnt out on the whole zombie genre in games in general at this point? A little bit? Not really. I feel like the, the time to be burned out would have been a while back. It's like a limitless genre with just tons of fun potential at each time you play a zombie game. Because I, I honestly, I'm not tired of zombie games. Some, some are way better than others, obviously, but I don't think the genre's... I mean, it, you could say it's overdone because, like, the depth of all the games out there for it, but they're fun for the most part. I think the good outweigh the bad. I think it's definitely died down, though, since it was a problem. A couple of years ago, they were cramming zombies into absolutely everything. Oh, yeah, it was an epidemic. And I, you know. I don't think it's nearly as bad now as it was then. Yeah, it was one thing. Like, I remember the first time I played through the first Uncharted. And then you ended up with basically what, you know, they were basically Nazi zombies. You know, though, I... And that would shock the shit out of me. Like, I was like, what? Was there alert? Possibly? No. It makes more okay. sense, though. This, like, I just 
did the whole collection and those I just played all three of those in like the last two weeks. <clears throat> it, the it makes more sense than I remembered it making because I remembered it being like oh what a letdown like they took this cool exploring you know action game and just kind of threw this supernatural element that doesn't really seem to fit. And then when I played it again recently after playing like you know now I've beaten all the Uncharted games so I w went back to play the first one again and it kind of makes more sense than it did originally the first time because they're not like they're descendants of the Spanish settlers which for some reason I totally missed out on before and I thought they were like supposed to be the same Spanish settlers but it was if the Spanish had never left and just sat there and breeded and breeded and breeded with each other over all those years. So it made a little bit more sense to me this time. Probably because you had you digested the entire series and you're able to go back track yeah. and do it. You know, it's, it's easy. You get a lot more the second time watching things too and reading things. I also well. forgot what a fucking bitch that first game's last level is on crushing. Like it's just unfair. <laughs> it's it's to the point where it's unfair. Like, oh my god. So, but yeah, those stuff. Uncharted games, those are fun. I'm done. I picked up the collection and did all three of them. I got all three platinums. But within like two weeks, so those games are awesome. Hey, going off topic, and we were so, talking about rereading stuff and also taking it back in. Adam, how do you feel about the new Dark Tower movie? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I really don't want to talk about that. I just want to pretend like it doesn't exist. Like it just doesn't gotcha. happen. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm there with I'm you. bummed. I'm bummed, and I don't. We might have to cut this part out, but I'll. What's the timestamp here, Travis? Cut this part out at wherever we are. Twenty-five minutes. <clears throat> I got to be a fucking scum movie. fuck movie makers. The scum fuck movie makers. I don't. Scum fuck. Masses. I don't want this to sound racist, but I don't. I think that's a really poor casting choice. And I think I should yeah, be able no. to say that without being like, wow, no, that's a racist it, it, fucking thing to say. Because that's No, it, it's not racist. It's, it, it's, I hate when they yeah, did that in Fantastic Four, too. I yeah, mean. that makes zero sense. I feel like it's what's racist is the fact that they keep making all of these... One character, a completely different ethnicity... I think it's, it's bullshit not... what they're doing with Ghost in the Shell, too. That makes no sense. Oh, yeah, dude. They made her white. That's bullshit. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. yeah. That flies oh, every which way, but... But I, I would be just as pissed if they would have made Blade white, so it's not a race thing. It's like you can't alter the original characters. Like, then, I think the yeah, only exactly. time that got pass is maybe Nick Fury. I don't have a problem with... I think Nick Fury works both ways. Actually, at this point, I prefer Nick Fury black um, as opposed to the fucking David Hasselhoff shit. All kinds of things. Game of the week. Are you ready for game of the week? Is it that time? Or yeah, I don't think it's that time yet. We'll talk about it. I've got nothing to say. I hate. I hate that game. Did you play it this week? Yep, and I hated it. Did, which version did you play? The NES Before version. Game. Okay. Just that's all I have to say. That really is all I have to say about it. It's fucking. That's a dumb game. I'm sick <laughs> of playing dumb games. Who picked? Who picked Box Adventure? Somebody that likes us to play dumb games. Bruce Diggs off of YouTube in the comments. Thanks a lot for nothing, Bruce. You got shitty taste in games, or you yeah. knew goddamn well that that game sucked and you made us play it anyways. So, whichever it is, you're an asshole. And it's like, well, for me, going back to, uh, you know, the Mega Man version of Game Boy, I did the Game Boy version of Bonk, and it was, you know, for what it was, it was it was Bonk. But well, zoomed in, black and white. Or do you want to get into it, Adam? Do what? You want to hold off on that? Hold off on what? The Bonk's Adventure Game of the Week. No, no, I, I, I thought we I thought we were doing it. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I thought we were it doing sucks. it. It sucks. Yeah, I, yeah I that's, had that's, no, that's it. That, the game sucks. I will get, since, well, guys, since Bruce went out of his way, I guess, to listen to the show, I'll give him a little bit more than it sucks. No, I, I played, no well, I, Bruce, I, you're not I, getting I, any more of that from me, because if Travis wants to be nice, <laughs> <laughs> give you a detailed description on how much this game sucks, have at it, but just know that I think you're an asshole for making us play that game, and it sucks. Well, well, like, well, you had the TurboGrafx-16 version, Travis. What was your thoughts on that one? 
I, I actually played every version that I could think of playing that I had was the NES Game Boy and Turbo. I will say the best, honestly, was the Game Boy version, if you can believe that. What? Yes, the NES version is the worst by far. Fuck that game. The Turbo Graphics version. Like, Tana, did you think it was flat out horrible, honestly, on Game Boy? Like, come oh, on. I mean, I for a game, as, I, as I'm saying, for its time, it was a bonk game. Like Mega Man, it was zoomed in. You gotta admit that. And there was a total lack of atmosphere. I don't think that was its main problem. I just think the whole short range headbutt attack just kills the game. I think that's its biggest problem. You know? Yeah. And I will say, watching every power up you eat, which takes like fucking 20 seconds, it seems like, to power up gets old fast because it's like you're waiting. It's some, like when you eat the the, uh, horse. Spitting around thing and fucking just getting angry. But I don't recommend any of the ball games at the end of the day. But thank you, Bruce. I gave you a little bit more than these guys, but they didn't like it, and I don't think they like you. So, <laughs> well, I, honestly, I'm I think, just, I think I'm just I, I'd say I'd say probably out of all of them, you know, when I was you know when I was a kid, I played it for a few seconds on Turbo Graphics, and it blew my mind. So I'd probably say the Turbo Graphics would be the best version <laughs> that I know of. There you go. <sighs> I don't think we don't have any requests this week for Game of the Week, so what, if you guys want to just throw something out there, I don't give a shit. Whatever you guys want to do, man. Um, Let's play Mega Man 3. That's a great game. I'm sick of playing these really shitty games. We need a week <laughs> where we play something decent. Let's play Mega Man 3. I'll, I'll tell so, you what. Let's, we'll do, let's do Mega Man 3 or Castlevania 3. I'll do either one of those. I don't have access to Castlevania 3, though. Let's do Mega Download it. I'm Castlevania to out. October right. just ended. Alright, you're right. Let's do Mega Man. Mega Man 3. So. Maybe November should be our Mega Man month where we play a Mega Man game. Well, maybe we should do that in December part. because November is halfway over. Because we, had, we already wasted it playing stupid things like fucking Bonk's Adventure. <laughs> Bonk? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, like I think for game of the week, maybe we should just each pick a Kirby game and talk about it next week. Kirby games kind of suck. Well, what? The, they're you know, for babies. Um, get out of here. They're for, just they're oh baby my. games. They're for ba- they're for small children. <laughs> <laughs> they're for babies. <laughs> All right, then Adam, your game is Kirby's Pinball. <laughs> Play Kirby's Dream Course and tell me if that's a baby game, Adam. Played on the hard difficulty on one of the last levels. Is that There's the racing baby. game? No, that's that's like golf. We talk about the racing. Oh game. yeah 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 yeah. That game sucks. That game's awful. I can't figure Get out how to play fuck. that game. Go play Dishonored. Just leave. Dishonored. <laughs> Hey guys, Mike here from the Slam Picks Podcast, reminding you, as always, check us out on Twitter, at Slam Picks Podcast, check us out on Facebook, the Slam Picks Podcast, or, as always, check us out on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, Hibiki TMD is where it's at, until we meet again, oink oink. Fucking Adam. Shit. It's a baby's game. The baby's. If you guys missed it before we went to break, Adam said Kirby's Dream Course sucks. I've never Nobody heard missed it. it. Everybody Adam. definitely heard it. This is a podcast. It's not a television what? show. Nobody the was reason. like, hey, check this out. There's a new episode. Let me skip the 35 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> see, see what happened. Looks like they just came back from a break. No, Kirby sucks. I stand by that. It's not. It's a. It's a easy. It's an easy game for kids. I, I thought that's what the game was supposed to be. Isn't it supposed to be like a Hey kids, yeah. you're not smart. I don't think that makes sense to play Mega Man. I'd say it, it, it had its 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 challenging parts in a way, somewhat. I don't know right, so how. Which but... are we play? Prove me wrong. Which what Kirby game are we playing? Not the fucking weird ass golf one because that's, All that's right. not fun. The hardest enough. Kirby game I can think of is Nightmare in Dreamland for the GBA. Okay. That game gets kind of tough. I'm down with that. I, you know me. I'm always Let's... I'm always game for a GBA game. So. Kirby Superstar is kind of easy. Like, way... And the original was super easy. Um, Kirby's Dream Land 3, I guess, is... I don't know. I would say the original one, NES, is... 
fucking not no, that's not the original Game Boy's original, but NES is harder than the Game Boy one, I would think. Kirby's Adventure. Yeah. Those wheel when you turn into the wheel, those levels get frustrating. I don't like those levels. If you remember the wheel levels stand in the NES version. But yeah, I, 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 that was a rental version. for me a few weeks when I was younger. And then yeah, game, I do remember games. having its challenging parts. All right, so Adam's going to play Nightmare in Dreamland uh, GBA, Kirby. Uh, Tannen, you go ahead and play NES, Kirby's Adventure. You down with that? Yeah, sure. Then throw one on me, Tannen, since you're a Kirby fan. You got to play Dream Course. Not. Yeah, you got to play Dream Course. <laughs> <laughs> you got to play Dream Course and Pinball. You have to do both of those. Pinball for the Game Boy. God, I just don't get the hate for Dream Course, Adam. I'm just good for it. <laughs> It's the weird, it, yeah. It's like golf or something. You gotta like pick, yeah. It's I don't I don't understand it. It's like Sonic 3D Blast. Like if not any parts of that game were fun. This you is know, also I, the guy who's like fuck sleeping dogs. Yeah, fuck sleeping you know, dogs too. I, I don't know. If I, I have, said that on the show, but fuck sleeping. Now dogs. you have. Yeah, now That's I have. I actually, I actually have Epic Yarn, and I've never played it. I hate it that is, Kirby game. I hate that game. That game, they made it impossible to die in. Like, you call these baby oh, games, really? you can die in them. Like, you can get game over. You cannot die in Epic Yarn, and I hated it. It's, uh, fuck that game. That's what I'm, see, so, so I'm not crazy. There's a Kirby game, yep. I can say fuck. Kirby games are baby games. But that's the only, that's the only one where they, I've dropped my mic. I'm so fired up, I dropped my mic. Good. <laughs> see what you did? This isn't Slam Pigs podcast. Don't make it that way. <laughs> We don't need to go back and forth at each other's throats. We need brothers. Don't shake hands. They got a hug. <laughs> we can do it. Baby game. Sleeping dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping dog. Hashtag baby sucks. game. Hashtag milk jealous. It's a movement. Milk it's totally jealous. Funny. I'm the one that I'm the one that brought up the whole let's pick a Kirby game for next week. It's, it's caused this much hysteria. <laughs> Tannen, don't get yourself kicked off the show this week. <laughs> Finger is on the button. He'll do it. He's crazy. So I've, I've lost it. Over 18 episodes, I've lost it. Adams, You do 18 episodes with Adam each week, and you'll lose it. No, serious. Shout out to you, Adam, for all you do. Here's a fun side thing, and we could leave it in or cut it out. But This week is zany. There is a, there is a post on Facebook... <laughs> With one of my friends about how everybody just needs to be nice to each other and the world would be a better place. Oh my god, I saw that. I saw that feed. Yeah. So after like two comments, I managed to get somebody to insult me, and I was like, "Yep." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Just, just be cool, man." Isn't that the whole point of this? Are we just trying to be nice? And everybody's supposed Are to be nice. We just try to be nice to each other. <laughs> Let me just point out to you how fucking impossible it is. You guys can't even read two of my posts without being nice. <laughs> So, everybody's so hot tempered and wound up. And, they are, because uh, I realize this is just every time I start to think, you know what? Maybe not everybody is an idiot. And then something happens, and I'm like, ah, nope. It's pretty much everybody. They're pretty much all idiots. So, watch out. Idiot. Bunch Play of idiots games. playing baby yes. games. Apparently. <laughs> Hashtag hash browns. Hashtag milk jealous. Why do you keep saying milk jealous? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, milk so jealous. It's hashtag milk jealous. I'm I don't I'm not jealous of anyone's milk. I want my own milk. Like if if you got a glass of milk and like do you want to drink? I'd be grossed out. <laughs> it's milk. milk is like the one thing that you wouldn't want to drink after somebody. Exactly. Fuck that. Even if it's chocolate. Yeah. Milk jealous. Top three Game Gear games, guys. Guys, did you guys? Oh yeah. I knew, did you have Game Gears as a kid? Yes, I did. I, did. I didn't have a Game Boy. I had a Game Gear. That's what I got. I had both, like, and I was like, "Man, the Game Gear is fucking awesome." But I, I asked for a Game Boy that year. Got a Game it. Gear. Nice. My parents must have hated me because I didn't have a Game Boy. That's usually and my dad what was means. like, "Screw this black and white bullshit. I'm getting my boy a, a something with color." <laughs> I'm getting him a magnifying glass for his Game Boy, so he can hate it even more. <laughs> Give him headaches in the car with the light. Oh boy, man, yeah. That's Talk one of your top some... three all-time peripherals, Adam. You you put it there. You I love it. it. No, I love it. I love what the light. I think it's I fantastic. Hate that. Thank God. Anyway, it, the Game Gear was backlit. 
You didn't need no yeah. damn light. The Game Gear was in <laughs> Surf Ninjas, like we said on past episodes also. That movie is awesome. If you haven't seen Surf Ninjas, you're not living. You're not crafting. <laughs> and what I don't know. I didn't play Game Gear. And actual Game Gear, not emulated shit, until I was in my 20s. But still, I mean, I, <laughs> it was fun. I didn't have a Game Gear, guys. Fuck off, you rich kids. I'm over here with the poor kids. Getting you merely adopted the world of gaming. I didn't see a Game Gear until I was already <laughs> a man. <laughs> Oh man, I'm choking. No, Game Gear was awesome. It was awesome. Um, it was not Game Boy Advanced awesome, though. So, no, what it? But what they, it? that was they was... did do a lot of things a lot better, and it took fucking Nintendo a long time to figure it out. So on how to get that shit right. Problem. Number the biggest three, problem cross... with Game Gear was the battery life. It was fucking awful, and it took oh six. Jesus, six fucking batteries. I remember Cannon, when I got at, it for Christmas yeah, At your Day. pawn shop. At your pawn shop, have you ever seen a Sega Nomad go through? No, I haven't. Those things last, what, an hour tops? They're pathetic. I batteries. always wanted one of those. And by the time so I, I finally got around to like convincing my mom that I should have one, it, they were like discontinued. It was really sad. Shout out to Cartridges Galore, um, one of our local game stop establishments. I don't know if you ever been there. Uh, those guys are pretty cool. Uh, they they have a lot of stuff. I don't think they're terribly priced. Um, some things are a little, eh, but that's every store I think. Uh, they they had a second Nomad, and it's like the Nomad's weird. It sits kind of angled too. It's just the whole uh, the layout of it. it's it's cool. I mean, it looks cool, but yeah, it sucks. It's a battery hog. But as far as top three Game Gear games, guys, number three across the board. Tannen, you want to start off this week? Sure. I want to start off with Batman Returns on the Game Gear. A lot of people don't really like that title, but I had it as a kid, and I freaking loved it. The control scheme was a little off. uh, Using your grappling hook could be a little bit of a challenge, but at the end of the day, it was actually a really fun Batman game. Not as good as the Super Nintendo version. Um, you know, that that one was awesome because it was, you know, like a pretty much like Final Fight. But uh, still, still a lot of fun, really challenging. Never played yeah, it. That's my number three. Yeah, I never played I, that, actually. Oh, awesome soundtrack, too. The soundtrack was on point in that one. I have to, I, most, I think even the bad, like, didn't even Batman Forever have good music? I think all Batman games in general Wait have had. Pre- Did you say Batman Forever was bad? For Super Nintendo? Like the movie? No, the game. Oh, I was about to say. You know who's a. That's got my boy, Val Kilmer. I thought you were going to say maybe. Jim Carrey. Well, <laughs> Val Kilmer also. It's got both your boys, your posses, and that shit. Hell, Tommy Lee Jones in that movie. He's yeah, I like that boy. movie. Fuck Batman and Robin, though. I think we can all agree on yeah, that. Yeah, that one's. Just yeah. Bad. You know why? Because there's no fucking Val Kilmer in it. Because there's a pun every like line of the movie. Chill out. It's, fuck- it's hibernating. <laughs> Ice to see you. <laughs> oh. oh, God, that's so bad. I remember that was I probably the first movie that I saw in the theater where I wasn't even through the movie, and I thought, I wish I hadn't have come to this. <laughs> like, Wasted oh, I went with uh, my sister and Sean and all his friends. You know, they were all older. And in ten minutes into the movie, they started riffing it like loudly, but nobody would tell them to shut up. Everybody just started laughing at their commentary. <laughs> That's even better than the movie would have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The camera zooms in. You know, Arnold turns around. Sean shouts, "It's not the Tuma!" And like everybody just like lost it. <laughs> From then on, they just had more and more commentary. And Adam, what you got? Nipples, it? And <laughs> Adam, what do you yeah, got at number three? It, it was a Try it was a toss up between um, Sonic Chaos and Streets of Rage, but just because I loved Streets of Rage so much. But Streets of Rage, obviously, that's a game that's better with two people. So, but I thought the port was handled pretty well. But it was only one player, and the I think you could only pick Axel and Blaze, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's been a really long time since I played that. There was only two, yeah, um, and no female. Pretty sure they took Max like completely out of that game. Um, 
but as other than that, as far as like a port, it was always fun to play Streets of Rage, like on the go. But then the Sonic, Sonic Chaos has done really well, also. So that was pretty much a legitimate Sonic game yeah. for the time. And it still holds. So up. it's a tie. I played that not too long ago. So yeah, I would say it's a it's a tie, just because I like Streets of Rage so much, and I feel like if there's a Everybody thinks of Sonic when they think of Sega, but a big part of me always thinks of Streets of Rage when I think of Sega. True that. Mm. So, but neither one of them deserved to be number two or number one. So there you have it. I would say okay. number three, um, Sonic Triple Trouble. I like that game. I don't think uh, I ever played that one. It was pretty much like Chaos, but it was really fun. I just, I just spent more time with that than Could the other. Did you play Knuckles game. in it? No, it's Sonic. I always play Sonic. No, but could why was it called Triple Trouble? Oh, because you could be uh, Knuckles and Tails. Oh, that's what I just asked you, and you were like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you asked me if I started as Knuckles. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I, no, I just meant, could. Is it was it possible to play as Knuckles? Oh, yeah, that's why it's Triple Trouble. Oh, that's cool. But, yeah, see, Sonic Chaos, you could only play as Sonic or, or Tails. That was it. Which was cool, also, because you couldn't... That is another reason that game kind of stood out, because... In Sonic 2, which I also had at the, around the same time, you could play as Tails, but only if you were a second player. So this game that actually gave you the option to play as Tails, I thought was cool. Well, I thought the whole point of the storyline, though, in Sonic 2, because I was actually going to make that my number one, but he didn't. He, Tails gets kidnapped, and you, you have to rescue him in that one. No, I meant Sonic 2 for the Genesis. Oh, oh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, no, because okay. I had the... Sonic 2 was, like, the first game I had for the Genesis. I think Sonic 2 is the first game I saw in person being played on the Genesis. It made me want to get a Genesis. It was all about Sonic 2, my favorite Sonic. Sonic 2 is the best. I don't know, Sonic 3 may be a better game, but Sonic 2, there's a special place in my heart for it. So. Soundbite it, lay it down. Tannen, your number two Game Gear game. Uh, my number two. Oh crap! Yeah, I had that in my head while we were and there sitting here talking. Where did it no, go? no, 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 no. It's a, yeah, right, right. Like, let me look for this for a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> you look for it. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, actually, you know, um, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a switch up because I do have a different one for my number one. Sonic Two for Game Gear would be my number two. That was actually the first game that I had with my Game Gear. It came with the Game Gear. Um with the bundle that I got. Um, you got a hand glider in that one, which was different. Was. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, I was just it's, reading an article in, like, the newest Game Informer or something talking about what happened. I don't know if you guys saw this article with the South Park on the cover of the issue. Yeah. Did you read that about Sonic? Talking about the hand glider and shit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that fucking hand glider. A lot of people hate that thing. <laughs> See, I, I don't know. As a kid, I had fun with it. Like, I was like, oh, man, you know, he doesn't get a hang glider with the other ones. Hang gliders. Jesus. Yeah, you know. But um, I feel like the only thing that really... Bo- huh? I feel like Sonic's dominating the list already. Or he's starting early. Well, he's he talking he's, about he's, a he's, Sega handheld system. Yes, a Sega system. Sure. But, like, um, the, the thing is that one of the most challenging levels I've ever played in a Sonic game was the water level in that game. You had to go through the tubes, and it was like a labyrinth. And one wrong turn, and you were back at the beginning of the level. And just getting so pissed off. Also, because, you know, battery life, you know. If you didn't have an AC adapter hooked up, like, you might as well just call it quits in that level. Because the thing's going to shut off on you. For some reason, I thought screwed. you were going to say, you might as well just kill yourself. I'm just thinking, that's really extreme. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a battery. Yeah, was... If you don't have a power pack, you just ought to fucking just end it right now. Just slit your wrists. I was, I was a pretty pretty emotional uh, eight-year-old, you know. <laughs> it's really, really extreme on the playground talk. Ugh. Very but, um... Why? Yeah, right. You know... Oh, very, good, very good show. You can't go wrong with the Sonic game, really. I mean, I mean, you can, but not in this era, for the most part. <laughs> Dude, no, Sonic Spinball for the Game Gear was terrible. Just yeah. terrible. Zoomed in a and lot. And that's sad, because it? I fucking love Sonic Spinball. I love. Sonic I do Spinball. too. I love that Genesis game. 
I, people that like hate that game, like that's not, it's not accurate. To be, like fuck, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good pinball game. Like people that downgrade that game, they're scum fucks, and they need to go kill themselves. They are fucking scum fucks. I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't understand. It's not a fucking pinball game. Everybody's like, it doesn't play like pinball. That's because it's not. It's got <laughs> more of a platformer hybrid, fucking weird pinball gimmicky. I don't know. It's Sonic Spinball. Go play it, everyone. It's yeah, never played. it's awesome. Great music, too. Excellent music in that game. Adam, your number two Game Gear game. Uh, my number two, it, it's actually made, it's a game that's made the list on one of our other top threes. It is Jurassic Park for the Game Gear. Holla, holla. Because Jurassic Park, that's it. That's really it. That's all I got. <laughs> Jurassic Park, what the fuck do you want? You, you shoot dinosaurs. Well, for everyone that's never played it, I mean, what, what kind of, what's like, how would you describe like dinosaurs? There you have it, guys. It's dinosaurs. <laughs> it's game of, it's no, it's it's fun. weird. Uh, like I don't know. It's got some weird ass story where it's like they're worried about dinosaurs driving boats or something and leaving the island. So Doctor Oh Grant yeah is like now tasked with like going around and shooting the fucking piss out of dinosaurs, but capturing them. Like it's always real clear. Like oh, it's okay. You only. Yeah, put this guy to sleep, and now we've recaptured him. So you don't ever feel like, oh my god, I'm murdering all these dinosaurs. Except for <laughs> all the dinosaurs leading up to the boss of dinosaur. You do murder those dinosaurs. Which is fine, because they're all fucking annoying anyways. But it's, uh, I don't know, it's pretty good. And you can get, it, it's cool because it's got two endings. Which, at the time, when I was a kid, I couldn't I didn't play a lot of games that had more than one ending. So, if you didn't shoot the T-Rex to death prior to every level, like during the car scene chase, you don't fight the T-Rex at the end. And it's like, well, the T-Rex got away. He got on the plane and went to America or whatever happened. So you get the bad ending. But if you manage to shoot the shit out of the T-Rex while he's chasing your truck before every level, then you get to go to the T-Rex level. And then if you beat that, then it's like, okay, Dr. Grant's a boss everybody's like wanting to have sex with him and hand him money and stuff but he's like I got no time for this <laughs> I've got to go I'm gonna and... I gotta go catch more dinosaurs you gotta go catch I'm more gonna dinosaurs to to speak. just for you Adam I'm gonna play this game because I've never played it just for you I'm going to have sex with Dr. Gr I mean play this game <laughs> you can um, you can beat it in like an hour it's really not hard the biggest thing is like just if if you don't manage to like annihilate the fucking T-Rex um, you the heavy word. Yeah, you. Nobody's gonna want to have sex with you, so <laughs> <laughs> just, just keep that. Oh. For, you're high stakes. It's high stakes. Just keep that in mind. Just keep business. <laughs> See you guys next week, right here on the Hard to Name podcast. Wait, well, wait. Was there number one? Travis, there did. was. He's like, missed- nope. There was, but now I gotta go play Jurassic Park. No, there was an awkward. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go have sex with Dr. Grant. (laughs) I just had sex with Dr. Grant. I'm back, guys. It was God, I'm glowing. I got the glow. You know, speaking Uh, of Dr. Grant, though, Event Horizon. Can we all agree that that movie was awesome too? Even though he wasn't actually Dr. Grant Grant in that movie, but. Oh, he wasn't Dr. Grant in that movie? No, I really... Every time I watch the movie, though, I'm like, okay, this is what he does after Jurassic Park. This is why he wasn't in Jurassic <laughs> Park 2. Because... And then Jurassic Park 3 came around and ruined that for me. So, thanks a lot, Jurassic Park 3. I didn't hate it. The, the, the guy from Fargo. <laughs> Will McDermott. <laughs> looking, for his, looking for his son. The shoveler in that um, superhero movie. Uh, mystery men. Fucking talking raptors. <laughs> Shoot. Uh. <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> number, number two Game Gear game. Adam, what would you say is my number two pick, in your opinion? I have is no it- clue. We don't talk about Game Gear a lot. I have no clue. This is actually a game that probably none of us would have been able to pick up as a kid. It probably saw a limited release because it's rare, but I played it, and it's pretty good. It's like a mixture of Fire Emblem, Zelda, 
Golden Axe. It is Axe Battler, a legend of Golden Axe. For those yeah, yeah. Games. Never played it. Played nor, I've never even heard of that game, so I never would have guessed that. If you're a fan of Golden Axe, it's pretty good. I, I, if it's you're a fan of Golden Axe and Zelda. Honestly. It's pretty bare bones, but it's Game Gear. Fuck. You know, if if you're looking from like in depth, you're looking at the wrong place. I mean, it's not terribly terribly done. It's it's got its weak points, but I spent a lot of time with this game. It's pretty fucking good for a Game Gear game. Like the battle system is more like Fire Emblem than anything else. I would like the overhead world is definitely like Zelda. Even like the zoomed in town aspects is like Zelda. The collecting, uh, it's just it, like I said, it's a hybrid, and, and, and it's a shame it's not more well known. Cause it's pretty. It's good. actually on the Sega Genesis collection. You can unlock that the Sega Genesis collection for PS3. Yeah, and also the uh, Golden Axe Warrior game for the Master System you can unlock too, which is kind of like a shitty Zelda. That game I don't really recommend. Stay away from that one. For the most. It's always quiet after I talk. Well, you know, we're just waiting, I guess, for the for you to say like if it's somebody else's turn or not. I don't want to. I no, want to talk to everybody. Speaking out of turn. See, you didn't even ask. <laughs> Disrespect. Jeez, it's Tannen, you gonna keep cutting him off all night? He's done this time and time over again. And over and over. <laughs> How many raspberry pies must my wife bake for your mother before you realize that you're number one pick? I don't know what I'm doing. What's your number one pick, Tim? I have no clue what you're doing. Th this, one, this one is a really good one on Game Gear. It was also a Master System. I'm going to go with Nikki's Castle of Illusion. It's my number uh, one pick on the Game Gear. I love Castle of Illusion, but nice. I never played it for the Game Gear. Dude, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's, like a, it's a perfect port. It's it's it's. Did you play the perfect. PS3 Castle of Illusion? I guess it's out on yes, like, mobile phones and stuff now too. It's That's remake. fucking awesome. I, I loved that one. Yeah. yeah, that was a great game. I played the 360 version. Yeah, that's fucking fantastic. Everybody should go play that game. Yeah, and every version of it too. Yep. And the you, you're, you're you're not going to go wrong with it. Some people complain about the text and Ducktales remake is way too long. But the DuckTales room, there's nothing wrong with it. Just don't go into it expecting it to be like the original. It's really you dumbed skip down. You the text maybe. if you really yeah, want Yeah, I was about to say, everybody that has a problem with the DuckTales remaster exactly. is a fucking moron. <laughs> the same people that are buying an NES Mini from Scumfucks right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you get fucking remastered gold, you know? <laughs> oh. All red everything, guys. All boob everything. Milk Jealous. <laughs> Milk number Jealous. one. You're number one, Adam. Game Gear game. Good pick, by the way, Tim. That is a good pick. I, I love Castle of Illusion. It's so much better than Mickey Mouse Capade. Oh, yeah. Like, Ugh. So much by better. By far. So, no uh, comparison. My number maybe, one. I thought you were going to say Magical Quest, maybe you could compare, but fuck. No. Mouse Capade. Fuck it. This Thank week's suck it is Mouse Capade. You know, though, one of these days, I'm going to go back and i got to try to beat that game. i got to at least get past the Mouse second level. That game's hard as fuck. Magical Quest or Mousecapade? Mousecapade. Oh, fuck that game. It's not you talking about for the NES? Yep. Yeah, that game sucks. Dude, yeah. I remember us being in kindergarten and you playing that and yeah. loving that game. It's fucking hard as shit, though. It's so hard. It's so unbelievable. Like, I can go back and play a lot of games now that I'm a grown-up. And just be like, ah, what the fuck? I was just a dumb kid, apparently, who didn't understand how video games work. <laughs> and Act Razor when I was a kid, I was like, what? I was terrible at it. Yeah, the, that Mickey Mouse game. I played it, like, six months ago, <laughs> eight months ago, and was like, I've got no clue how to not die here. This is impossibly hard. So there's that. But yeah, my number one, Shinobi 2. Rise of the Shinobis. Ooh. I don't remember what the subtitle is for it, but it's, it's the GG Shinobi, and it's where you have the diff the six different colored ninjas, yep. correct? Yeah, and you're a bastard because that's my number one also. But hey, also high five. That game so is it's, it. I haven't played it in a really long time, but I did it's beat hard. it when I was a kid, and I remember feeling really satisfied with myself. Accomplished. Yeah. That game hard. 
Like, all the different shinobis had their own, like, unique thing that they could do. One of them could, like, climb upside down on, on like, ceilings and little weird elevator shafts, which... I don't know why Feudal Japan... Do the Shinobi games take place in Feudal Japan? I don't even know. Oh, they're all over the place as far as... Because there's, like, time travel in 2 in Revenge. I, don't, it's, I never played any of the Shinobis for, like, the Genesis. Like, you never played 3. Three's I, excellent. I've played them, like, oh, hey, it's an emulator. I'm going to play this for, like, 2 or 3 minutes and then move on to something else. But I've yes. never actually sat down and made, like, real... Wait. Work you, did it. you have this game as a kid? This be game? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I had that game as a kid. That's... So I, uh, that game was constantly being played. See, fellas, I teased it a little bit going in before the countdown. I made the uh, Surf Ninjas mention. And that this was the game that appeared in Surf Ninjas throughout the whole movie, which was awesome. Made you want the game even more as a kid. Even though he was playing Leslie without Nielsen. the game actually being in there. <clears throat> they should have had a commercial with Leslie Nielsen, too, I'm telling you. It made did they play. ever make... A Surf Ninjas game for the Game Gear? They did. I had that, too. <laughs> they did. Did you guys ever play Home Improvement for Super Nintendo? Oh, God. Yeah. You go, <laughs> you go around this Tim Allen shooting fucking dinosaurs. 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 Yeah. With power tools. You, you have a nail gun. Oh, the 90s. Surf <laughs> Ninjas game was not bad. <laughs> there was, not only was there a Surf Ninjas game, I'm pretty sure there was a 3 Ninjas game, too. Yes, there was for Super Nintendo. No, I meant for that. Game Gear. Oh. I don't know about Game Gear, but fuck. Does there have to be more than one? Does there have to be any Three Ninjas games? Knuckle up. Knuckle up, bro. <laughs> Knuckle up. But that, that's my number one pick, too. The Shinobi. Nice. You know, honorable mention, Power Rangers for Game Gear was really good. The fighting I never game? played that. Like, that, that was a really good one. The, the fighter. The fighting game? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a fighter, and up. then like, and then if you, you know, you get into your Zor then, and then you would fight like a giant thing across the cityscape. How many millions of billions of dollars, by the way, do you think the Power Rangers cost their city? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just glad I don't live in. It's not even like a city. What? It's like Sun Valley or something, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a fucking it's like a, suburb of California. <laughs> it's a fucking suburb that's got like skyscrapers that are constantly getting kicked over. <laughs> somehow, somehow the big fat Hawaiian guy lives in his shop. Is yeah, open. like no matter what happens, that oh. one spot that they go to hang out never gets yeah. damaged. Zordon puts a shield over that shit. Zordon, so they can have asshole. their smoothies and their t- fucking teenage sexcapades. Power <laughs> Wow, <laughs> 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 Zordon. It's the ghost of John Candy. It's what's in the fucking Zordon tube. <laughs> Tell you, you know, I mean, you I cannot a, I, look at, you cannot unsee that now. You will see John. When, I, when I was a kid, I seriously thought for a while that Zordon was played by Buzz from Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. <laughs> Shout out to the guy from Home Alone that shoveled the snow, and they were afraid of him. The neighbor. The beer. Yeah, the South Bend, the South Bend Suburb Shovel Slayer. A lot of westerns too. That guy was cool. He's I guess got a T-shirt you, with the South Bend Suburb Slayer. People. Don't hate. Be kind don't. to everybody and don't stereotype and hate the old creepy guy who's always staring at you with a snow shovel. And then he just wants yeah. to see his granddaughter sing. That's all he wants. Yeah, it's not that much to you talk to his son. You fucking scumbags. <laughs> scum fucks. You scum fucks. Also, hey, let's fuck. can we be real for a second? If Donald sure. Trump was such a monster, would he have helped Kevin get home? Think about it, guys. Oh, yeah. Think about yeah. it. Hey. Wow. You know, and we also, he also Democrat. told Kevin where the where the desk was. You know, like, Kevin walked up. He's like, excuse me, do you know where the front desk is? And he's just like, yeah, it's right over there. Yep. You know. Does that it's sound like, like somebody well, that wants to deport illegal immigrants? I don't know. I don't <laughs> think so. I think he wants them to know where the desk is. That's what I've seen Donald Trump do. Help children. I think Donald Trump. Trump was happy that Kevin stole his credit card. Is what it comes down to. You know, and he still sent his family a bill. Yeah. And he was happy that Tim Curry probably got fired for being a dick. 
Did he get fired? Was Tim Curry fired, or did like they'd be like, "Oh, it's okay, we love Kevin." No, no, no. You know, he was. Yeah, he wasn't fired, but he, he was still like, had to like. What did they do to Tim yeah. Curry? Was kind of a peeping pedophile in a way, He's sneaking on a little. <laughs> Come on, I mean, but it is Tim Curry. Shout out! To Get Tim out of here, you little pervert! Before I smack you, silly. <laughs> oh man, you're Plus cooking, all. Frankie. He knows I hate cheese and sausage. He ate it. <laughs> Damn, Kevin, you don't want anything on your pizza? We've reached the point where we're just quoting Home Alone, by the way. Yeah, that's so yeah. That should have ended a long time ago. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, yeah, you know, in December, that's what, you know, I'd say we do that December. as a game of the week and pick every shitty iteration that oh, there is God. for the Christmas special. Fuck off, Tanner. I'm down. I, <laughs> I played. I that played slide is terrible. A lot. Oh man, that fucking slide move! Power slide! Uh, oh! It's an eighties. I, I, I had a tiger handheld version of Home Alone too, and that game was better than the Super Nintendo game. Nice. Yeah. I promise, I'm not drunk this week. I'm just on a lot of cold medicine. So I've been battling the cold. That's why I'm a little loopy. You and your damn recreational cold medicine. The whole show. <laughs> I felt like I seemed off like I was on cold medicine no I, I didn't know until you said it <laughs> uh, I'm sick of being sick already and it just started being fall like I miss summer already like I like fall but I don't like being sick it sucks I don't even know yeah. Air. I'm playing golden axe on game gear See you guys next week. All right, man. Adam? What? Let's quit the show. The show may or may not continue next week. Adam, what do you, what's your stance on Part of the Name Podcast live from England? I'm down. We should just get some English people to play us. We should try to have Lee back. We should, we, I think we need a four-man booth next week. I think we need to spice it up. I feel like we're a little spent. We've been putting in the hours here on the show. I feel like we deserve a little break and let somebody else be a drawn-out windbag that can rant on and on and expect people to like them. That would make me want to come on. Yeah, let's do it. Adam hates the show. Yeah, I'm doing it. I... Are you Are you really bowing out? Uh, yeah. What? I thought that was a great episode just now. We're still in the episode. That's why oh. you're not the host yet. Because you can't even tell oh, when wow. we're on the air and when we're not. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, you know, for keeping it real still, thank you guys once again on coming on the show. You're welcome. Hey, no problem. You're welcome. You're not welcome. I know where to find Adam, guys, and if you want to know, hit me up on Twitter, at the TMD. On Facebook, I would give you the man's address. If he wants to be cocky... Go to I'm the Facebook page, to and hit like, and then like this video, and then tell your friends to like this video. And then tell your and mom. And also... Your mom yeah. is going to love this video. And she has free PS4 codes in her mailbox, and her social security number is on the back. And everybody's mom likes Tannen. He's polite. Oh, yeah. He's the kind of guy you want to meet your mom, so... Tannen and Adam are, like, those friends of mine. I'm like, I'm going to take them to a family function, because... They're the uh, ones. Yeah, this will work. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, I, I, I don't leave the toilet seat up, you know. <laughs> At Marshall's wedding, his grandmother came up to him and said, Honey, is this your friend that says all those nasty things on the internet? <laughs> 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 and she was she was looking at uh, somebody else. Or she, and he said, oh, no, Grandma, that's Adam. Oh, he's over there. And I took a picture of him as he's, like, pointing me out and ratting me out to his grandma. So. <laughs> hey, that's something. Yeah, that's something. Making hey, grandma's happy. I, if you guys are Is down, that I'll... nasty scum fuck that says me things? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, Grandma, that's just the caterer. Don't run up and yell at him. Yell at that guy. <laughs> Grandma, not him. He's serving <laughs> the drinks. 
<laughs> That's what Marshall sounds like at his wedding when he's three or four sheets to the wind. <laughs> ah. Dan and Adam, thank you for joining me. Harder Than Podcast, Adam Thief, Big TMD on Twitter. Join the Facebook group, Adam's Little Baby. Milk Jealous. Milk Jealous. Gary sucks. Don't, don't play Bonk's Adventure. Don't. Gary's sitting at home playing it right now. He's emulating <laughs> it. He's not even playing it. He's emulating it. You know what he's doing? What? He's playing Before. Skyrim because now that it's cool to like Skyrim, <laughs> now that it's not cool to... Once the coolness is passed, oh, yeah, like Skyrim. It's like, oh, shots. Pew, 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 pew. Ba, 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 ba. Put that sound effect in. We need what? that sound effect. <laughs> I don't know what sound effect you need. The one that goes, ba, 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 ba. I think you just patented it, and it's yours. There we That's go. That's your sound effect. Just like, yeah, take clip that, and we'll just put that in. Tatum, why don't you take us out this week? I think we've broken your heart and named Cherry on the show. I think you've earned the right. Go for it. Oh, okay. Well, uh... Don't do it. Nope. Don't. <laughs> nope. Okay. Nope. Hey, guys. Thanks for listening. Again, you can, uh... Well, Travis already plugged the Facebook groups and all. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your week, and we will see you the next time we nope. decide to sit down and have a conversation about games and movies and politics. And we're back. Tannen, thanks for joining me. That was awesome. Friday night. <laughs> Welcome the Hard to Name podcast. You podcast. I'm grandmother. <laughs> and I don't believe what these scum fucks are saying about my grandside. <laughs>